Hey, I'm Trick or Drummond. Today we're talking about testosterone replacement therapy and hair loss. So, to be honest with you, I've expected to lose my hair my entire life. I have an older brother who by the time he was 20s, he already lost his hair. Um, by the time my father was my age, he was already completely bald on top. So I've always kind of expected to uh, lose my hair. So hair loss and TRT wasn't something that I looked up right away when I started into uh, treatment because I just kind of always expected to, to lose my hair. Um, about 20 years ago, I did start to have a receding hairline. My hairline was here, moved up to here. About 10 years ago, it stopped. It's been holding there ever since. So it wasn't a big issue to me. But through looking through the comments and interacting with the comments you guys put on the videos, uh, it's a big issue to you. So I thought I'd give you an explanation of... Uh, of hair loss and TRT. Uh, the most current study I could find on hair loss and TRT had to do with in Germany in 2018, it was published. Um, and they got a cross section, I believe it's 387 men. They chose uh, men of various ages. They chose men who were completely bald. They chose men who had complete head of hair. Uh, they checked for testosterone levels and, and they checked various other things. And they found that you're, you keeping your hair is not dependent upon your testosterone level. There were males with full heads of hair who had, you know, very high range testosterone levels. And there were men who were bald who had very low ranges of testosterone levels. So um, the ultimate conclusion of that study was that hair loss when it comes to uh, testosterone is more to do with androgen receptor sensitivity and androgen receptor density. And uh, androgen receptors are kind of a gatekeeper, if you want to call that, in the body. They they take in product and they decide what to do with it based on DNA, and they output. That's you know that's the most simple term I can put it in there to you. Um, but the real part of TRT. All right. So when you go into testosterone replacement therapy, the thing you're trying to do is get the most effect out of the least dose. That's 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 what you want to do. Um, if you can get yourself to the to the low to mid range of uh, normal and gain the benefits of being there without the side effects of, of having uh, an excess amount of testosterone flowing around in the body, you're going to be in the best place. Um, the way that works is an excess of testosterone in the body, uh, once all your testosterone receptors are all filled up with test and and it really now you have a bunch of just free stuff floating around in the body the body knows that it's there but it doesn't really have a job for it to do it'll start converting it and uh one of the things they convert it into is estradiol and the other one is dihydrotestosterone which is uh, dhd um i made a previous video about estradiol and you know estradiol has a, in and among itself has a whole host of uh, side effects. So you, can, you can grow, you know, man boobs, all kinds of stuff out of estradiol. Um, but if your testosterone level's really high, and your free testosterone's really high, and your estradiol is really high, what they can choose to do is just, you know, try to back down your testosterone level to lower your estradiol, right? But if your testosterone and your free testosterone are both within normal limits at a good range, your estradiol is real high, they can put you on aromatase inhibitor. Side effect of aromatase inhibitors, DHT production. DHT um, is gonna cause your, potentially, cause your follicles for your hair to shrink up and your hair to fall out, right? So, they can give you finasteride, which is an inhibitor for DHT production, which would, in, you know, keep you from producing the DHT, which wouldn't, you know, cause your hair follicles to shrink, which would help you keep your hair, right? So, but that's why I say what you're aiming for is to get the maximum effect out of the minimum dose. Because if you can get yourself to a place where you're gaining muscle, your mood's stabilized, cognition's good, sleep is good, all these things are good, and you're at the low range of normal or, or mid range of normal, and you don't have all this excess floating around in your body that your body's then going to choose to convert into either estradiol or DHT, you know, you're getting the best of both worlds here, right? So there was one point when I was, when I went to 150 milligrams a week where, you know, I was, I was in the gym pretty heavy. I'm eating tons. I'm gaining muscle. You know, I'm, I'm making the most significant gains I've gained for the longest time. And I, you know, I even mentioned my doc. I said, yeah, 150, we're doing pretty good. And he was like, mm-hmm. And I, you know, 
what do you think about 200 you don't need it and i mean he was just as quick and blunt as you could be you don't need it you, you're you're in good range you're getting the benefits and you're not getting the side effects don't worry about it you know you're not going to 200 you're staying at 150. okay and again i try to tell people get a doctor who's really conservative you know <laughs> in that particular case my doctor was voice of reason right and, you know i i was getting 150 i was seeing some stuff i mentioned 200 no way not doing it he's a voice of reason and he was right you know in retrospect sitting back he was right I, i've continued to make gains i've continued to do the things i want to do without getting that higher dose i got caught up in that hole you know i i, I want to get as much as i can as fast as i can mind frame um but he was completely right i was on a dose and i am currently still on that dose where i was getting the benefits of it without having the excess floating around that then was produced in either estradiol or DHT. So, you know, it's a slippery slope to go down that deal where you're gonna have that excess floating around in your body and your body can just start converting it into other stuff. So, I, you know, I promote everybody, if you're gonna be on TRT therapy, be with a physician who's conservative so that you don't have to start taking a you know overproduce estradiol take an aromatase inhibitor start producing dht take finasteride now you're you know you're out here on a dose where yeah you're getting you know you're getting jacked on that dose and you're seeing a lot of gains real quick but you're chasing side effects with handfuls of medicine every day you know just just to just to try to keep everything you got and, and feel like you're in the place you need to be so that's kind of the deal when it comes to hair loss and, and uh, TRT. You you can get to a range where you're mid to low. You know, hopefully you're you're not you don't have oversensitive androgen receptors. You don't start producing the DHD. You don't start losing your hair. You're not you know uh, having overabundance of testosterone where you're converting into estradiol or you need a aromatase inhibitor where you start producing DHD. You, you, again, you want to try to do the most you can with the minimum dose. All right. Um, other than that, there, as I said, they when they did the study in Germany in 2018, they there was absolutely no correlation between the actual amount of testosterone, free testosterone in the body, and hair loss. It had to do with androgen receptor sensitivity and androgen receptor density. And, and again, I don't know that it's something that somebody could tell you before you were to enter in TRT that you have a you know a huge density of androgen receptors or an oversensitivity to androgen receptors um but it is something that if you started to have the side effects of that that there are possibilities of treatment again you can take you know, finasteride as a dht inhibitor um and you know that would help keep you from losing your hair uh so you know this is evidently a, a pretty big topic for you guys because as i've gone through and i made videos about trt i've gotten a fair bit of questions about you know hair loss and that so i wanted to make this video and get it out to you guys anyways that's the deal with hair loss and trt i'm trick or trauma you guys have a good week